Hey Virgos, welcome to your August reading and happy early birthday to you guys for my uh, August Virgos, of course. So, balance, I'm hearing. Balance, balance, balance. Balance between positive and negative. Balance between your energy and the other person's energy balance between mind spirit body soul balance I'm feeling a sort of calmness for August and that's coming um, Virgos you guys have good things coming you see we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Three of Pentacles and that's like work related offers. Yes, balance, you see? Really good energy for a girl. Great energy. I'm hearing, why do I feel so Why, I'm sorry my Virgos are dealing with the aftermath of the eclipse. And you're going through sort of like a wave of, I'm hearing confuse, confusion, trying to find the balance. But the energy is clearing up. You know, it, it's a phase, it's a wave, actually, it's, um, it's like the aftermath of the storm, you know, and picking up the pieces that you want to take with you on this journey, and this journey holds so much potential, Virgo, because I'm seeing you guys, you are evolving very quickly at the moment. I'm hearing I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. I'm hearing. Taking a break away from 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 the details. Taking a break to to look at the bigger picture, the broader perspective of things. And oh, what type of good things you got coming. Because <laughs> like I said, you're going to feel a lot more peace, a lot more calm in August. Even though right now we're still like in, you know, the end of July. Today's actually the last day of July. It always takes a couple of days before, you know, the next month to settle in. <laughs> I'm feeling... I'm seeing you're gonna have an opportunity this month to do something back if you have been um, worrying financially or somebody has been helping you out uh, or you just want to do something for somebody you're gonna get the opportunity this month to do something to give something back and maybe it's vice versa because general reading maybe it's someone else in your surrounding that is gonna give you something back but I'm seeing that whatever whatever is going to be exchanged so whether it's like energy or it's financial aspects or it's love it's balance and it's what you want it like that's what's gonna happen like something is gonna balance out and it's gonna make you feel really good because you have the star card it's like I'm hearing for some of my it's like I'm, I'm finally learn seeing a way finding my way to balance out what my sole purpose is and what people expect from me not expect but like you know the way you pay your rent the way you know you live and of course your home life is very important to you 
but you also have this soul's pur soul purpose that you also need to feed you know and you need to take energy from because it's actually something that gives you energy and i'm seeing you finding a very natural balance in august with that so that's like for some of my virgos but it's very spiritual which i i love you know for you guys if i look at this in an in another way then i see most definitely a very important job opportunity coming in for you guys which is going to make you feel really good and it's also going to give you the time to well let me say the room to breathe financially i'm seeing um the time out that break that you need to come into alignment with what you really want what is really making you happy interesting because i also have the four of ones at the bottom of the deck and then I have the Sun card with the Magician and the World. I mean, honestly, guys, there's this a very, very, a very, a very, a very important month for you guys. Of course, birthday season is coming up. Virgo season. I love Virgo season. I'm a Virgo moon, you know, so I always feel very at ease when once Virgo season hits. But what's underneath? I'm hearing like what's underneath it all what's coming up is something you don't expect right now and the energy you have been feeling the energy you have been in and some of my virgos are already in like this more lighter energy which i've is really good some of you guys are still sort of like in the aftermath of the eclipse of the storm that has passed that has taken things from you and brought things to you and now you're just looking at okay what what is left what is here you know and that newfound energy that what that calmness that's gonna come in that balance comes with great gifts you know it comes with stability in a home life it comes with clarity it just comes with luck as well lucky month for you guys nine of wands and the knight of swords sorry page wow did i really say knight i'm sorry <laughs> knight of swords and a nine of wands i hope i said that i'm sorry i got a little scattered like it's mercury retrograde guys hold on i have to stop kicking the camera have hold in there with me please because i'm really doing my best you know to stay very clear um let me see what's that about yeah Okay, Virgo. So August requires you to to sort of give up a, a typical Virgo trade this month, and that is to hold back, hold back, and and to like engaging in a discussion, holding back into letting emotions and stuff show and come out full force, like get like this one. You know, like I'm showing it all. I'm giving it all. You guys have the ability to really be um, present in like a discussion and stuff. And sometimes it does get heated, but you always come with the facts, you know. But it's never out of like, yeah, but I feel that this or my emotions or you made me feel like it was always like it's more logical you know it ha it is more like what's going within will never completely reach the surface when it comes to putting things out on the table you know and this month virgo if you kind of show me two different things 
if you're willing to to communicate straightforwardly i'm hearing like communicate the real you know and show everything what did how does the how does i'm sorry how does the situation make you feel how what what is it what did it do to you internally what are your um wants and needs and and um emotions you know towards this purpose towards this balance towards this offer it's like give show it all you know as much as you can of course you will always be a virgo you know and you gotta stay true to yourself but it it, it, the more you hold back this month when it comes to being open and stuff with yourself and with others the more you hold back the more you give in to like a loose loose situation because when the other person don't know how they make you feel they cannot change their behavior they would just continue their behavior and their things the way they've been doing it because they don't think that it hurts you or they don't think that it's like damaging or something that it's in any way negative to you because you're not showing it so they keep doing it you keep hiding it and the situation keeps it going on and on and on and that could be in work i'm feeling could be at home it's just a sort of like a never-ending cycle of they are doing things that are painful to you you're not showing it so they keep doing it and it's like a never-ending cycle and you you gotta break that this month to be able to reach this energy because it's here for you to pick up but it requires you to really take that break away from the normal way you would respond, the normal ways you would go into a conversation or something like that, right? About when it comes to love or when it comes to work or stuff like that. Apply it to your situation. But what I'm also feeling is that there is someone that's going to come in... There's someone who's going to come in with communication to you guys and I'm going to get one more card on that. Yeah, exactly. There's someone who's going to come into you with communication about... Past hurt. So it is Mercury retrograde, so people do intend to show back up, whether that's like in a dream or, you know, in an email or a phone call, a show up at your work type of situation, which I don't hope because that's awkward, right? Or no. <laughs> um, this is past, I'm feeling. Because look, we have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. But they can come at you they can come at you with like yeah but you did this and you did that and remember that time and you hurt me to the core and you're never showing your emotions and you don't do this you don't love me you don't you don't it's like very oof it's very like um them dealing with 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 letting go you know and um they just want to have somebody to blame and they like to put it on you um that's not for all my virgos but i'm feeling that for some virgos keep your eyes out for this person that's going to communicate like that and their advice to you is to not give in uh, give yourself in this conversation you know you can just be whether you decide to not com communicate at all or you can be like um if you did do something wrong but you really weren't aware of doing it because you know some people are just sensitive in different places you know you you can't always 
and deny a certain feeling with somebody. So when if somebody's going to come to you, communicate something that might have hurt them and you weren't aware of it, then acknowledge their emotions first. Just say, I'm sorry I made you feel like that because, you know, you did. I'm not saying you did on purpose, but you made them feel a certain way, right? Um, not on purpose, but you're acknowledging it by saying, listen, I'm sorry that I made you feel a certain way. But that was not my intention. And I don't really... I'm not going to give into a conversation where you just put all this blame on me. You know, I'm, I'm just not. And I'm sorry that made you feel a certain way, but I'm not going to give in to this back and forth arguing and stuff with you because I've moved on. Um, I want to talk about it if you want to talk about it, but we're not. I'm not going to allow you to scream at me. I'm just not. I'm just not that type of person. I'm just not the person. Not today. Not today. You know, like that. That's like sort of like a communication that's going to come up. It could be vice versa. It could be vice versa. It could be you communicating this to another person. Um, and if they're not giving you that acknowledgement of like, sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry I made you feel like that. It was definitely not my intention and I also wasn't aware by my action I was doing that to you that it made you feel like that and I'm glad you communicate that to me. But um, yeah, what do you want me to do with this? You know, like that. So it's going to be like a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. Like that's what I'm feeling. It's not for everybody. So don't worry. You're not going to get your heart crushed and stuff this month just because Tree of Swords is here. I feel it's more past related, but they definitely were very clear about this message for some of you guys, this could also be, have been the wave and the eclipse that have happened. And here's the healing. Here's the calmer August energy that's going to come up for you guys. But let's see. I'm sorry. I have to breathe that one out because I felt all like attacked like by that person. I was like, okay, calm down. Uh, calm down. <laughs> Like, I just have to breathe, you know? That person came on strong. Damn. Let me calm down. Let me just be the cool, calm, collected Virgo. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, I also wrote down something else for you guys. Um, equality. Equal. Equality. Very important for you guys. Like that equal exchange and equal gift. Like, I give you compassion to this show me the same you know um you're gonna step up virgo you are not playing when it comes to reorganizing your family bonds your friendship your relationship the way you work your colleagues everybody will get the new wow Everybody, yeah, it's really on your mind. Everybody um, will get like the new you. It's like it's like this now. So, yeah, <laughs> no more. Of course, you guys are like they call you like the sign of surface, you know, for the bigger pictures, like for the for the collectives. Like you do have so much. Yeah. That's a road. You do have so much beautiful traits as as Virgo soul. You know, you do have such loving, caring, deep love for other people and other souls. You know, and you always will try and help, whether that's practically. Maybe a little bit less emotionally, but you will always show up and be there. It's like that friend you can always call to, you know, do whatever is a Virgo. And that's beautiful. And you should never lose that because by giving, you guys also receive energy and love. But it's no, it's like you guys are evolving towards, and I spoke about this last month, a month before even, I think. It's like you guys are evolving to give from a balanced place of self-love and when you are coming from a place of self-love that's also the most beautiful energy you can give to others 
because you're showing them light not giving out of because you feel guilty not giving out because you feel like you're less than and you have to work harder than others not giving out of an energy where they can take advantage of you and they build up bad karma you know it's like it's a very beautiful evolving energy and i'm feeling that august is very crucial for that so that's very positive have to walk away from certain things look there's a difference Stepping up for yourself, standing up for yourself, standing in your truth, showing like um, the boundaries, you know, to others, making clear, these are my boundaries, don't cross them, like that, right? There's a difference between coming out of place of self-protection and very... Uh, closed off in a way to be able to keep the boundaries so not let people close not let people come in uh, closing yourself up from emotions towards people because you have a hard time saying no otherwise if they're too close so it's like that there's a difference between coming from that place and show and showing self-love and like not giving too much or just coming from a place of inner strength and inner knowing and wisdom you know, I just know that when to show tough love in a way for the betterment of the other person and by giving freely but not by self-sacrificing because there is the difference, you see? This is a person who is literally he doesn't care who is holding the stick. He is like taking up to everybody. You know, and I feel like maybe you have gone. You will go into that mode for a little bit first. When you see that people are like sort of taking advantage of you. You're like, everybody can get it now. I'm not doing anything for anybody anymore. Like, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, okay, it's a start. But then we got to bring in the peace, you know. Because there is a balance, there is an equal give and take. So what they give, you give. What you take, they take. And you cannot give nothing anymore and just take. Or not at all. Or not have not, no energy exchanging with anybody. It doesn't work like that either. So, this is the balance. This is having the inner strength as well to say no when you need to take care of yourself. And... What I'm feeling with this is like calming down the fears within. With being afraid that you're not doing enough. Being afraid that if you say no, that it's a bad thing. You know, and that's what I'm saying. You're giving out of self-love. Meaning that you do know when you need this time. You do know when, when you need a break. You do know how to ex um, receive a gift. You do acknowledge it as, as a gift. You know, and... That's beautiful energy. You're going to feel it in August, Virgo. You will feel this. Um, it's a story. It's on your mind. And it's also getting you a little stuck. Because you're like, okay, but what is equal? What's equality? What is balance? What If I do this, what is that? Is that too much? Is it too little? You're going to get a little bit in your mind about that. It's like, okay, but um, do I need to set all kinds of new boundaries? Who am I supposed to let go? Who am I supposed to stay? It's going to get a little bit up in the mind. That will clear out that energy. After like, I think after the 20, you know, when Mercury goes direct, energy will clear up. It's like right before your season hits. Beautiful. So the end, the end of August is going to be about clarity and peace and fun, I'm hearing, like lighter energy like you guys are going to end summer on a high note so i feel very uh, calm and very like i feel very calm and at peace is because i'm picking up the energy that's coming for you guys not all my virgos are in that right now so it could be definitely be like you're watching this video and like oh my god i can't resonate with this because i feel all kinds of uh, the <laughs> i don't want to swear but sometimes we just feel effed up you know we just do within it's okay 
it's okay. It's like uh, you could also be dealing with just this. Then definitely I can understand that you feel a little off. Trust me. But know that this is coming. Virgo and this is beautiful. I feel that by the time of December, you guys are just evolving. And it's just going to go and go and go. And next year, it's like 2019, it's going to be a very important month, uh, sorry, year for Virgos. Interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Like I said, the confusion and stuff is going to clear up. And you, yeah, you're going to go and get into this mode a little bit. But you'll get it done. You'll tame it down. It's good. Sometimes you need to bite a little bit here and there. Virgo, you're not just, you know, the sweet energy who gives all, you know, and is always for service for others. Amen. Beautiful spirit message you guys got. But, and sometimes you just need to bite. Bite. You know, just first bite and then find back to the balance and be like, okay, you know what? Let's find a new ground. Sometimes it's not a bad thing at all. If, they per if the person is asking for it, he keeps barking at you, bite. Just once. You'll be good. Show up. Show up in those communication, Virgo. Tell them how they make you feel. How does it make you feel? You do feel so much. You don't always show it. You don't always are very open about it. I know, because you don't really see the, the point in that. But you do have the feels. Show it. Throw it out on the table. It will set you free. You need that relief for a little bit. You build up so much in 2018. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Yeah. Follow your intuitions, what they're saying. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. That was the other card that turned out. I'm going to take that one because I think that's a perfect message for you guys. Okay, first up, my beautiful earth signs. Ground, <laughs> there we go. Ground yourself. Center. Let me read it for you guys. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Beautiful. Ground yourself. And I had this one um, for a personal reading, I think. That was in June. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Sorry. <laughs> um, I spoke about it. It's like, but how do you ground yourself, right? Because they say like, yeah, come back into alignment, ground yourself. How do we ground ourselves? Well, I said that as well. I said, like, it comes in very different... For everybody, it comes in, in different forms. You know, for, for um, each person, it's so... It's, it's a, and sign, definitely. There's a different way. Um, but almost always are, like, connected to nature. Whether that's certain food, whether that's certain uh, surroundings... Um, in general meditation everything it's like sort of it's always connected to nature and what i would like of course you guys are earth sign whether you're someone or rising you have earth in your chart i would definitely try and go often to like the forest go to the park sit there and be there be there not be there like this you know Bring all your swords with you and then, yeah, whatever beautiful surrounding you're in, you can't really pick up the energy because you're like, your mind is completely blocked, right? So try to be there. And look, what do you see? Don't really let anything play too much with your mind. Just feel. It's like, I see birds. I hear birds, uh, you know, I hear them. Sing. That's what you say in English, right? Yeah, you heard the birds sing. Um, you see them fly around. You see a little duck. You see the water with the water. It's like, what is the sound of the water? What is? It's like, be there, you know, and breathe deep in and out. And that definitely for earth signs is something, you know, whether you're just there, 
sit there for 30 minutes when you have a break, you know, you have a park close by or anything. Fresh air always helps you ground yourself. Don't think that you need to leave the park with this big realization it's like oh my god i need now i'm gonna do this with my life or now i need to be in alignment with that and i saw the light and i feel the sun just go with no expectations and by just being there for 30 minutes is already a step forward to this and not this you know that's the thing no expect expectations just be and the more you you train yourself to be in a moment, very present, that's going to help you get out of this naturally. That's what it's like. It's the, um, the moment you're like just there in the park and you're not really, you know, too much engaged in anything at the moment. You're just there. That's what helps you release the stress and the energy and coming back into alignment. You were actually in alignment for those 30 minutes, you know. Ah, uh, could also be the beach for you. Maybe you have a lot of water in your chart. Go to the beach, look at the ocean, see the waves. Feel the wind on your skin, you know. Just be there. And that's that really helps a lot. Be grounding yourself. Okay, I'm sorry I went really deep in that. Maybe it was for somebody. <laughs> okay, vulnerability. Beautiful, great card for Virgos. Because that's really what... August is asking you to do. I'm going to read it for you guys. This is a confirmation that you're seeking to treat into the unknown. Unfamiliar territory. Emotions, right? Showing them. Where decisions are based more on your intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back. Or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. That's literally what they say. That's a really, really, really beautiful spirit message for my Virgos. I love it. Okay, so Virgo, great month. Happy birthday if you were born in August. Um, leave your birthday down here below. Like I did that with the Leos as well. And I love, you know, just wish you guys happy birthday. So... Uh, if you feel up to that, then do that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for you guys' support and love each month. I really do appreciate it. I just, I'm very overwhelmed every month with the amount of views and the love and the response that I get to my readings. And I'm definitely uh, just want to continue doing these. So thank you so much again, Virgos. I really appreciate you guys. You all always help me in some way shape or form to deal with stuff that i go through as well because i am a virgo moon and i resonate a lot with my moon sign also because i'm a cancer sun and rising so the moon rules me so <laughs> i just feel very con in uh connected to my moon sign um thank you guys so much always for um your feedback as well and now i'm gonna leave it this video i hope you have a great birthday i hope you have a great month and I'll see you guys back at the end of August, like September. I hate saying September, it's way too, way too quick. Okay, bye Virgos, I love you guys, bye.